Mm. Should we say hello to our third caller? It's Dan. Hi, Dan. Hello, how are you? <laughs> okay, so Dan's got quite an energy about him. Uh, pretty good, thank you, Dan. All right, well, let's do this. Time for another secret celebrity. So you know how it works? We've got three callers lined up. Two of them are real Radio 1 listeners. One is a celebrity who's come up with a fake identity. We're going to ask them questions to try and work out which of the three callers is lying. Okay, on line one, we've got Cameron. Hey, Cameron. What's up, man? You good? Yeah, good, thank you. Whereabouts in the world are you, Cameron? I'm down in Chichester, south of England. So I know Chichester because I'm from Portsmouth, which is just down the road. Cameron, can you name any other place around Chichester for me that you like to go? Uh, well, the skate park's definitely one in I? Cameron, what is it that you do for a living? Part-time chef, full-time shredder, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no one's a full-time shredder. <laughs> The Rock isn't even a full-time shredder. He's got a tequila brand to yeah. run, hasn't he? The Rock does not skateboard, man. No chance. It's break that, dude. Oh, I thought you meant in terms of getting ripped. <laughs> no. Cameron, what's your best skateboarding move then? I've got nolly trays on lock, man. <laughs> do you know what? I have no idea what that means. It sounds like you do, so I think uh, that's a good thing. Well, I've got suspicions around Cameron. Have you? Honestly, no, I've never met anyone that talks like that in this real life. That's how I want to talk, I think. <laughs> He's like someone from a burger advert. I'm absolutely living off Burger Kings at the moment, flipping, flipping patties for a living, no? <laughs> uh, let's move on, shall we? Uh, hello to Abigail. Hello. Hi, Abigail. What is it that you do? Um, I'm an interior designer. Ah, right, okay. Can you name a Farrow and Ball paint colour? Good. Ooh, elephant's breath. Oh, I was literally just about to ask the same thing. Okay, tell us, what are the kind of popular paint colours right now? Well, I'd say that nudes and kind of browns are definitely going to be in. A brown room? Yeah. Mm. Should we say hello to our third caller? It's Dan. Hi, Dan. Hello, how are you? <laughs> okay, so Dan's got quite an energy about him. <laughs> Uh, pretty good, thank you, Dan. Dan, where in the world are you? I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. Mm. Now, we do get lots of international listeners. We do, actually, yeah. We feel quite big time when we sort of hear from a listener outside of the UK. Yeah. So, Dan, Madison, Wisconsin, what, what do you do for a living, Dan? I run an ice cream shop. An ice cream shop? Okay. What's your favourite flavour of ice cream? Chocolate. Right, and what's the most popular flavour of ice cream? Strawberry, chocolate and vanilla. Okay, and how much is an ice cream? If I were buying an ice cream with all three of those flavours, how much would you charge me? Good question. Uh, for a double scoop, it's uh, seven fifty. That's dollars. It's quite reasonable, actually. Yeah. So you're in Wisconsin, America, where you're listening to Radio 1. Yeah, you're a Radio 1 listener, so... Well, unless you're a celebrity. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a celebrity. That would be insanity. Okay, sure. So, Mol, I feel like our producers might just stick an American in to try and throw us off the scent Definitely, here. Yeah. So I can't work out if you're American because you're just from America or because you're a celebrity. No, you're not on to me. Yeah. Dan, tell us, what is it that you like to do? Like, what are your hobbies, your pastimes? I like ice fishing. Ice fishing? <laughs> Okay, so you like basically anything to do with ice then. Do you like being really cold, right? Well, in Madison, Wisconsin, it's generally what we are. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? A carp. If you were to liken it to the size of an object that already exists in the world, just so we can get a sense of scale. Well, if you use the, the ice cream analogy, it would be like three scoops of ice cream. Quite a big fish. Generous with the scoops as well. Yeah, I like how Dan's actually sticking with his ice cream theme here, Matt. Can we focus back on Cameron for a second, do you mind? Yeah, you're not sure about him, are you? So, I'm intrigued, Cameron. How do you make money from skateboarding? Because you said you did that full time. No, 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 no. Part time chef, homie. That's how we, uh, that's how we fund the new decks. Um... <laughs> I've got to say to Cameron, if he's the celebrity, Cameron, you've done an amazing bit of research <laughs> on the lingo here. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is just coming natural, my friend. Straight from the roots, dude. Okay, so... We're going to make a guess. We've got to do this, haven't we? <sighs> okay. What's your head saying? I don't know. I think it's Dan. I'm not sure about some of these ice answers we're getting. I know he's sticking with a theme, mm. but I feel like it's kind of how I would panic answer if somebody was quizzing me. So I've got to say, I think it's Dan. Oh, I feel like it could be Cameron, but 
Uh, I'm happy to go with you. Let's let's say it's Dan. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with Dan. Okay. Can the real <laughs> celebrity please reveal themselves? I'm not actually Dan Forbes. Who are you? I'm Steve Carell. No, you're not. No way! Oh my, oh God. my gosh! The minute you said that, I knew I recognised your voice. I can't believe it. I felt the same. <laughs> I knew there was something familiar about that voice. Oh, do you know what? I love you, Steve Carell. You're the absolute best. And Cameron, you exist. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. All here in the flesh, dude. <laughs> oh, that is extraordinary. Steve, it's so lovely. Thank you so much yes. for uh, coming and doing this, Steve. It's nice to meet you. I'm a huge fan. The US Office is literally my favourite TV show ever made. It's the greatest show ever. Um, the Minions, one of the greatest film franchises of all time. I can see you're sat in front of a Minions poster there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out soon. Amazing. Can we ask, were any of those points of reference from your real world experiences? Have you run an ice cream shop? Do you go ice fishing? Uh, n no, but I did, We, my wife and I are starting an ice cream shop next year. Oh, congratulations, that's really exciting. I think you're gonna lose a lot of money if you're doing two scoops for 750 though. <laughs> I think you're right. Now, Mon, I don't know how you felt about this, but when you first started doing a big voice, Steve, I thought, oh, we've got quite an eccentric character mm. on our hands here. I'm slightly frustrated that you didn't just plow on and keep going with it. I didn't think for a second you would buy my my English accent. Like, not, I, I thought that would fall apart almost instantaneous. Do you know it was Steve Carell? I didn't, but I knew that I knew that voice. I have watched Crazy Stupid Love a crazy stupid amount of times. <laughs> I have watched it so much. So I knew that I kind of recognised that voice, but I was a bit thrown by Cameron as well. Well, Ca Cameron was in Crazy Stupid Love as well. <laughs> yeah, I was also in 40 Year Old Virgin. So. <laughs> well, Steve, thank you so much for being on with us today and for embodying Dan for a bit of it. Yes. And Abigail, Cameron, we can't thank you enough as well. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, I'm furious I didn't recognise your voice, Steve. Furious. Well, it's been a real pleasure. <laughs>